Yo, what's up, happy people? Today's a super special day. This is my boy, William Kimball. And I've been friends with William my entire life. This is the Loxahatchee River. This is the place we grew up. This is his bro, Zion Wright. You guys may see him. He's one of the top skaters in the world today. But this is just about bros going out, having a good time doing what we do. And William was there the day my channel kicked off. Our condo was right over here in a little canal and he and I were just gonna go fishing, just like we're going fishing today. Sing us a song, man! <laughs> That's a fish on the line. I'm afraid I'm gonna make him mad. <laughs> but as I walked out to get the boat ready, I saw this manatee like drinking water out of my hose. I ran over real quick, I filmed it, ran upstairs, I edited it, and I mean, it was like a two minute video. It was no editing. It was just like throw it on the yeah. computer, put it on YouTube, and we go fishing. Well, we go out, we fish, caught some nice muttons that day come back in and as I was going down the canal I looked at my phone and it said that video had 88,000 views I'm like tell me this is going viral sure enough I got a million views that night that day I got 688 subscribers and from there my channel just that was like the little nitro boost that I needed and so from then we've just been growing day by day doing all kinds of cool stuff uh, William called and said hey I got a friend Zion coming in and uh, so we're gonna go fishing today. We're gonna start off catching bait. Without good bait, it's hard to catch good fish. So we're looking for good bait today. When we're done with that, we're probably gonna go out to the ranch, cut a swamp cabbage, maybe shoot some guns, but it's a day of fun. I appreciate you riding shotgun. Let's get it. You, you. We're just running down the beach here, you guys. And I thought it was a pod of cobias, but it looks like a pod of monster jacks. Hold on, watch this, y'all. No up way, dude. No feet up way. Oh! oh. <laughs> watch this. No feet up way. <laughs> Jumping for that thing. Oh, here, here, he's all you. Get that thing, get it, boy. <laughs> oh, wake up. Oh, oh, he's coming back for it. Oh. Oh. Lift your rod up high. Got him, yeah! Yeah, boy. You have no idea. How, this is like <laughs> crazy big fish. Hey, boy, hey, boy, if you see this, we out here with it. Come on, boy. Who's boy? My roommate, Jamie Floyd. Yeah, buddy. Big boy Floyd. Right <laughs> Get him, boy! Hey, you gotta have good balance to stand up there. Hey, I skateboard for a living. Come on. <laughs> he's trying to find his buddies. He's, he's thinking he's skating with a fishing pole in his hand right now. Look at him. <laughs> Now's oh, when we're oh, gonna get... Oh, 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 oh. Got him right here up near the beach. Beautiful fish. Fish is right here on the top. You're, you're good. I'm just saying, if we land this fish on that light tackle, it's gonna be a miracle. Look at that determination. <laughs> I love it. He's like, man, this fishing stuff is welcome to Thunderdome. It's looking good. He's jacking that thing. Hey, that jack is jacking you right now. Oh, that's jack you. You're doing good right here, bro. Hang in there. Keep a little, keep a little bend in that rod. Look. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going that jet. <laughs> Come on. He's like, he's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, boy. You got him right here. You got him right here, bro. He's coming in. You're getting him close. Oh, here he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go! Oh, oh look on. at him, bro! Let's go! Come on! Woo! This is why I love it! Come on! <laughs> hey, mid-fishing rod repair. Brought to you by Robert Aaron. Oh, oh, yo, yo! It's there! <laughs> Oh. Here, go, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hold on. We still got it, bro. Typically, you're not. Okay, so what you're gonna do, we're gonna have to be. Hold this right here. Hold that right there. So now you're gonna have to hold, hold your hand on that. Bro, you fish so hard, you pop the reel off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now nice and steady here. Nice and steady. We're getting really close, Zion. <laughs> this is such a huge fish. Reel down. Now gently, gently ease them back to you here. Good. Try not to go straight to him with the rod like that. Oh, he's right he's here. He's right here. He's right here. He's going to come around to the right come side on. of the boat. Come on. You keep pressure on him here. Straight. Neutral. Okay. Turn hard right, hard right, hard right. There's fish on the surface. Neutral, right there. Now turn it all the way to the right. All the way to the right. Neutral. Now back up, a little bit, back up. Neutral. Got him. Look at this. Look at that. See this boy? Hey, big boy. You see this? This is what we're doing. <laughs> we got fish before noon, just like we got clips before noon. Bone color skitter walk. Oh, yeah. Skitter pop. Way to battle, bro. Thank you. The reel was coming apart. The rod was undergunned. We only had 20 pound leader on 10 pound test braid and you battled like a warrior, man. I've never seen Hey, it. go check this guy out. Literally, one of the greatest skaters in the world right now. Representing Nike, Red Bull, who else? Real skateboards, Thunder Chucks, Spitfire Wheels, um, the list goes on, Glassy Sun Haters. Go check him out. He's big on Instagram, he's big on a ramp, he's even bigger on a board. We're fishing. And he's from Jupiter. And he's from J-Town. J-Town boy. Woo! Thank you for this experience. Guys, we just got out of here, got anchored up. Next thing we know, we got a huge storm blowing in, so we're gonna run in, probably grab a bite to eat, and then we're gonna be looking for a big old snook. Oh yeah. All day, baby, all day. Snook and cook them. <laughs> That's why you're always prepared. I knew that storm was coming, I looked at the radar, I gave Zion my, my frog dog's jacket. And the first thing I did was I ran into the beach because the farther offshore you are, the more effect the wind has. We just had easy 50 knot, 50 knot winds right there, easy. You gotta be very situationally aware and uh, make the right moves. You always gotta be prepared. That's why I keep my motor serviced. That's why I have all my safety gear and my boat in tip top condition because when you're in the ocean, she can eat you. Like a jack, not a snook. It is like a jack. It doesn't seem like a snook. It is. That's a freaking cuda. Dude, I'll eat a barracuda so fast to make your head spin. I grab that gaff. Where'd that gaff at? It's up from there. Got him? Good job. Hold on. Look at those 
Look at those teeth! Yeah, that Look at that. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'll show you something, Zion. Uh, Barracuda has three types of teeth. See, see the very big teeth right in the very front? That's meant, the very front teeth are meant to hold the fish. If you look farther back in his mouth, there's, see farther back in his mouth, there's a line of oh, like yeah. even teeth uh -huh. that are about a three eighths of an inch long. Yeah. That's what cuts all the meat. And, mm. and then if you look right on the outer edge, there is right there, you see that? Right on the top? Yeah that cuts the skin. That's why a barracuda can come in shoo, and cut something right in half so fast. It'll grab it, ha, shake, its, shake its mouth. These cut the skin, those cut the meat, this hangs on to it. It's a ruthless predator, but we win today. Yes, we do. Let's eat it. Dude, we're having so much fun. Heck yeah. Let me go throw them on ice. That's how I do it, son. Feels like crawl over it and crawl through it. All right, you guys, so this is a sable palm tree. We call it a swamp cabbage down here in the south. And this is my generator room, and it's been getting in my way. And I figured, hey, let's eat it. That's the heart of a palm tree. Now let's go get it ready to cook it. See that? Go to the opposite high side of that, which is right here. And that'll, it'll, you keep rolling it right out. See this? Go to the high side. Trying to survive off the land, eating any kind of wild game. And that right there is what sustained a lot of people. Hearts of palm, back in the day we called it swamp cabbage. And you're just gonna like a big old, just like a round cabbage the wrong way. Yeah, that's what you want. Nice snow white swamp cabbage. That's what I'm talking about. See, you don't want it stringy like that. Pull off more of that boot, huh? Pull off more of the boot, yeah. Piece Take a piece, yeah. It's going to taste very bland right now. It's alright, I'm going to dip it in that stuff and try it. The wonders of Mother Nature. We'll take this, put that on there. And what happens is the acidity in the tomatoes keeps this from turning brown. You know, uh, like if you're eating an apple and you leave it sit out on the desk, it'll turn brown? From the, from the air? Swamp cabbage does that so bad. So you gotta have a little bit of a acid. Anytime you're making swamp cabbage, this is absolute mandatory. Original Everglades. Got some zip to it. That's like complete seasoning. That's everything. That's the best way I've heard it. That's a complete season. Complete, like literally complete. That means everything. That's everything you need right there. You start swigging it down. Hold on, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. I, I, where, you, where you get this at? Hold on. Watch this. Where you get this at? Hold on. From the Everglades. It just that's pops bust. right out of the swamp, dude. That swamp. I did not plan on saying this, so we're designing a box right now that I can ship very easily to all my fans everywhere. This is it. Everglades heat, cactus dust, fish and chicken, original, all-purpose breader in a very easy to do box like that. You're the first one to ever have one. Don't play with me. <laughs> yeah, about to go back home to <laughs> LA and whip up with this. Yeah, don't play with me. It's looking good. <laughs> no, actually. I swear to you, that's actually, the first one ever that I've ever had. That's my first sample. I love it, and we don't even have graphics for it yet, so. 
You trying to come to the cookout on Wednesday? At Grandma's house? Why would I not do that? All right, that's a wrap. Oh, yeah, I'm, don't have to ask me. You know I'm there. Grandma cooking? Dude, how, how many times a day can you say you get grandma cooking? Take an onion. Onion goes so well in this. And again, this goes back to my roots. You know, this goes back to when you cooked with what you had. What a great day this has been. And for those of you who are like squirming right now, Barracuda, shout out to all my boys in the 242, love Barracuda. I mean, it is sweet meat, super sweet, snow white. And although like when you catch a Barracuda, it has like a gnarly smell to it. But bro, when you cook, when you clean it and cook it, straight delicioso. Look at that. Look at that piece of fish. Ooh, that's sweet. A sweet meat right there. Yeah, that's true. So that's the heavy boys like, yeah, man, I'll take your cooter boy. Take that berry. Hey, get that berry boy. Bring me one of them back with you. Maybe to a tree. See how this is all stewing down nice? Willie. I mean, you know what would be good right now? <laughs> Cornbread. Oh! Oh! This is living large, y'all. Hey, Willie, bag of donuts. Hey, Ricky. This is game time. We've got like 3% left in the camera, so I can't be jacking around too much. We're gonna take a little dollop of mashed potatoes, put it right there in the bottom. Take some of this, put it right on top, just like what? what? I'm gonna like, take a couple of these little rascals right here, put them right on the outside, that's dig in, done. and let me know what you think. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this wonderful food, and thank you for these amazing people that I'm with. Please nourish it to our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You guys, man, it's an honor having you here. Thank you for having me. He showed up as a guest. Now he's a friend. This is William Kimball. He's a longtime friend. He's like a brother to me. Austin Crocker, this man runs my ranch and runs a camera. He and I will be in Saskatchewan hunting bears in just a couple days. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick, you know what? When you hang around good people, that means you're good people. David Bell's holding the camera, and this is what life is all about. That's it. I'm about to make this. <laughs> I'm going to come out and over you like sable pulp. There'll be swamp cabbage just cut down all over. Hey, Zion, you in town? Yeah. Oh, oh, you were there last night. Oh, cool. All right, cool. Did you put my chainsaw back? <laughs> Swamp Cabbage Chainsaw Massacre. Zion Wright. All right. Both of their Instagrams will be in the description below. William's like one of the most rad dudes in the whole world. And this is a great day. If you want to see Zion back, if you want to see me go do more stuff with him and him, drop a thumbs up and hit me in the comments below. But I want to tell you right there watching this video that I love you, I appreciate you, and I thank you for being a part of this life. But that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless, and we are... Just gone. say gone. What are you doing? Hit it. Gone. We out. No, it's supposed to be gone. Oh. Gone. <laughs>